morning we had to take a little take a little detour. Today gonna be a busy day for me. Anyway, I got I got tons of stuff to do. I got tons of meetings to go to. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be driving the whole day. Well, I got somebody driving my early part of the day, but after that, I'll be driving myself. I hate driving. I've been driving for a long time, buddy. And I don't like it. Why? I just don't. I'm tired of driving. Why? Because I'm tired of driving, boy. Huh? Daddy. What? Next year, I have a feeling that I'm going to be a short fourth grader. You going you to be a short fourth grader? Yes. But you're going to be the perfect height. You're going to be like your daddy. No. I'm the perfect height, right? Huh? If anyone, mama's short. Your mama's short? Mm hmm But your daddy, what am I? Am I short too? No. I'm not considered short? Mm -mm. Okay, good. I'm up to mama's shoulders, I think. You up to your mama's shoulder? Okay. Alright. Let's go talk to the let's go find the big kids who who should have uh grab their stuff. See sometimes in the morning we gotta come together like teamwork. We gotta we gotta spread like a football team. We'll be like, okay, ready, break. No, I was turning it to native. How much how much money do you need? Come over here. How much fifteen money? dollars. You need fifteen dollars? Anybody else need cash? Um, I'm gonna pay for my ticket tomorrow. So. You paying for your ticket tomorrow? As you can see, boom, twenty dollars quickly given away. Bop, quickly given away. Bop. Oh, look at the popo. Po Let's see what the oh, popo no. talking about. Oh, no. At Wally World. They're talking about donuts. Let's, uh, wait a minute. What you say, D? I mean, LJ. Donuts. The police talking about donuts. Mm -hmm. Does your daddy eat a whole bunch of donuts? No. All right. You got everything. Man, do y'all realize how much we trust these schools? We trust these schools with our babies, man. One child down, two to go. This one here is ready for his school dance tomorrow. I want to be Why not? What you gonna do, hold up the wall? Listen, if ain't no dancing going on, what we paying for? Y'all don't dance with girls? What y'all do? Dance in a circle of guys? I don't know. <laughs> This is your first one. All right, so this is what it's we're going to do. It's not the first one that happened. It's the Don't. first one you went to? This is what we're going to do. We're going to have a session today, and I'm going to get your dance moves together. <laughs> school 
and I try to make sure that my kids aren't going through that. Like, I used to have to stand in the free lunch line, and that used to kill me. Like, I was so embarrassed to stand in the free lunch line, man. It was so crazy. I just hated that feeling. I would literally wait for everybody to go through. And then um, once everybody, once the line was short, I would go through. Right? I remember that. I remember that feeling. And that feeling itself has fueled me. Fueled me. Because I never want to feel that. How often am I here? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. good. I, I said, he gonna bring it out here. <laughs> you too, have a good one. You know what's funny? This lady just hugged my neck. And I don't know her from nothing, but you know what? That's good energy, good positive vibes. You know, I always kind of like that type of stuff, you know. King, let's hop out over here real quick, grab us, grab us a smoothie. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Have a good one. There you go. Got a good smoothie. Oh. Guys, listen up. If you don't do nothing else, learn to stay youthful. Right? I, don't, I know we're getting old. I know we're living our life. We got kids in school. Some, some of y'all kids grown. Stay youthful. That's how you keep your health right. That's how you keep your energy right. You stay positive, right? I get these text messages in the morning that trip me out from my homegirl. Uh, Chrissy sends me these text messages. I'm going to try to pull it up. I want to see. Hold on, I see. Good morning. <laughs> She's Hope silly. You woke up in joyful spirits, sending you peace, love, and light. I'll holler. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Stay youthful. Stay young. Don't let don't let the stress of these jobs and the stress of life hold you down. Pick yourself up. Make yourself laugh. beautiful neighborhood I I want to show you guys but I do want to um, protect and respect people's um, privacy when vlogging sometimes you know like I carry my camera everywhere and you know sometimes I ask before I um, just start filming especially if it's a relationship that I value I definitely don't want to um, show anything that they don't want seen so that said um, I'm not gonna take the camera in but I will tell you I'm in front of a beautiful house um, and I'm excited about this meeting because, um, like I told you before, in order to be successful at anything, you just need two people to believe in you, you and someone else. And I've been lucky, um, though I have perfected a skill set, um, in producing content, um, I also had somebody who believed in me and I got a little lucky, you know, um, since I was young, I've been able to kind of do what I want to do. And um, I just want to encourage you guys so that you know that you have that opportunity to do what you want to do as well. But you do have to be courageous enough to step out and try. That part is your responsibility. You have to be courageous enough to step out and try. Um, position yourself for success and you will be that. And what do I mean by position yourself? I mean before the opportunity knocks. Listen to me. This is key. Before opportunity knocks, you should have or you need to perfect a skill set because opportunity tends to knock or chase those who are well prepared. Luck tends to follow the well prepared. And uh, if you haven't put the work in, if you haven't created a skill set, if you haven't uh, perfected your talent or skill set, um, the chances of you getting lucky are really low. But if you've put in the work, if you've tried, if you've mastered uh, the chances of things coming your way and um, and attaching themselves to you, really high, really, really high. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to run in here. It's, um, it's about that time for me to run in. I'm going to run in, and um, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Peace. I'll tell you guys that today was a hell of a day. 
and I'm probably actually at about, I really don't know how long I've been up, honestly, and I know um, it's not healthy to to stay up so long, but to, tonight when I go to sleep, I take my kids to school in the morning, um, but after that I'm going to I'm gonna get some real sleep uh, tomorrow. Um, I want to tell you guys how great of a day it was. Was today business was phenomenal, right? And I don't say business was phenomenal to brag. I'm saying it because I get to do some of the coolest things and it's not because I'm so special that's the thing that I want people to stop um, saying like well Dennis you you know well, you just were able to do this because you're this or whatever like making it sound like I'm different than you I'm the same as you like literally it's just that in 24 hours I do a whole lot in my 24 hours I, 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 I don't just settle for a 9 to 5 I don't settle for um, that type of time. I put in 24, 48, 72. I put in a lot of hours. So, so it's not that I'm so special. It's just that, you know, in my 24 hours, you know, I do a lot and I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, 24 hours, no sleep, 48 hours, sometimes no sleep, 72 hours, no sleep. And anybody who's close to me, they, they've watched this process. Um, and I'm not saying that it's healthy. Actually, I probably should stop doing it. But sometimes I can't um, because I refuse to say that I want something and not put in the effort of achieving it, you know? So the other thing that I wanted to say to you guys before I close off the vlog today is not just do I do a lot of my 24 hours, but I prepare myself for the opportunities that I say I want. Long before um, any type of opportunity knocked on my doorstep, Dennis was preparing himself for it. I was reading books. I was learning. I had mentors. Um, not just did I have mentors, but I was willing to listen to them uh, when they made suggestions. Um, I think you should only have a mentor that you, you admire their lifestyle. If you don't really admire their lifestyle or what they do in whatever area, I don't know if you should listen to that person because, you know, everybody has advice that they want to give you, but I don't know if you should listen to someone who you wouldn't trade places with, right? Because obviously they're, they're not, they're where they are, you know, for a reason, but if, that person has achieved something that you haven't, then you should listen to that person and allow them to give you some advice on how to get uh, to where you're trying to go. So I prepared myself for opportunities, guys. I listened to my mentors. I, I read a lot of books, and I still i am an avid learner. Um, so here we are today. Today was phenomenal. Oh, my God. I have some major announcements coming up. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, I don't even really get excited about um, certain achievement anymore. Not because like um, I'm ungrateful. I'm so grateful, guys. I, I'm so grateful. I've been through so much in my life just to even be able to hold this camera and talk to you guys, building my YouTube page and all that kind of stuff. I'm grateful. Um, the stuff I've been through in my life, I'm just grateful. Um, the, the people that I've lost, I've lost friends, you know, I've lost, I lost family members, um, people who I loved have left me, um, things like that, that's happened, you know? So now I just kind of enjoy, I enjoy the moment a lot more. I enjoy my kids. Um, I look at where I'm going and I just accept it. Like, yeah, I'm going to going to another level, but it's not as sweet sometimes because the people that you probably would love to have shared it with, they're not with you. Um, but it's okay. So I guess it's bittersweet, right? Uh, but we keep thriving. 
and we keep shining because ultimately, hopefully the work that I'm putting in, hopefully somebody else benefits from it. Not just my children, but hopefully maybe one day your children are benefiting, benefiting from the work that Dennis put in. You, you never know. I hope that's the case. I hope that the companies that I create one day um, inspire your children to, to, to think big, to think massive, to think magnanimous, right? So, all right, guys, I feel like I'm rambling right now because I'm so sleepy. Um, that's exactly what I'm about to do. My babies are asleep, safe, healthy. Um, I feel so blessed, man, so grateful grateful for you guys okay i appreciate you supporting daddy nation make sure you join like click subscribe do all of that kind of good stuff hit the bell uh, notification so that you get it when i post it um and i think i need to do something else i'm about to buy i'm about to buy a few things um but i need to give away something to make you guys uh share it or whatever i'm trying not to be too cheesy on the vlog i want it to be real organic um, cause I, I know a lot of people do a lot of gimmicks and stuff like that. I'm going to start giving some, giving away some stuff too. Um, uh, but I want those, the gifts that I give, I want them to be worth something. I don't want to give away cheesy stuff. Um, uh, my kids wanted me to give away some gas cards and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I don't mind giving away gas cards if that's what y'all really want. Y'all let me know what type of gifts are good gifts to give, uh, for, like contest winners and stuff like that put it put it in the comments let me know what you guys want and i'll start getting some stuff okay so anyway god bless you guys i love y'all peace